Seven days until Christmas, and all through the state, it's time for a cold front that we eagerly await. Well, let's tell you when it's going to get here in this Wednesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. <laughs> And a very good morning to you. It is Wednesday, the 18th of December, 2024. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Boldy and Chief David Reimer. Yeah, we've got a cold front making its way south through Texas today with it. About a 20 degree drop in temperatures, at least for the northern half to northern two-thirds of the state after a very warm Tuesday. And with it, the opportunity for isolated to scattered showers and maybe a few storms. Nothing particularly rambunctious, but nevertheless, maybe a quick round of rain for some lucky folks. Let's take a look at the high-res rapid refresh model for today, tonight, to Thursday. You can see that front will be moving south pretty quickly today, making it down to the Rio Grande Valley and deep south Texas by about dinner time. So that's an indicator that, yeah, by the way, uh, we're going to have north winds for most of the state by this afternoon and with it a cold night ahead now we do have fog this morning southeastern half of the state that'll burn off slash be well eradicated as the cold front moves in from the north but that dense fog may stick around through the late morning for some folks and then you can see we may even have a wee bit of fog by tonight into tomorrow morning East Texas, Southeast Texas, the Brazos Valley, it is fog season after all. And some of that fog this morning and tomorrow morning will likely be dense. So some impacts to the Houston TRACOM, the Houston airports, are possible due to visibility and ceiling reductions both this morning and tomorrow morning. But otherwise you can see a yeah, pretty pitiful looking line of showers and storms a quick round of rain for some folks maybe a quick quarter a half inch of rain if you end up under one of those heavier showers or storms but otherwise clearing out by this evening with only low clouds and some fog the eastern yeah, third of texas into southeast texas tomorrow morning some increasing upper level clouds of the panhandle and deep south texas Thursday afternoon. Let's take a look at the forecast fire danger from the Texas a and Forest Service for today. We're looking at mostly low to moderate fire danger across the state. Thursday, back out into the borderland, Davis, Guadalupe Mounds, Trans Pecos, high fire danger possible. Otherwise, we'll remain low to moderate across the state through the end of the work week. Taking a look at the long range American weather model, the global forecast system. Well, here we go into the weekend. Really, we're not expecting too much in the way of active weather going into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We will start to see eventually southeasterly winds return with a slow warming trend and an increase in moisture, which will probably mean more daily morning bouts of fog and low-level clouds for at least parts of the state as we get to early next week. Now, you can see that beginning on Sunday, yeah, we might have a quick upper-level shortwave move overhead. That could result in maybe some light showers across the eastern half of the state. Monday morning, well, you could see, here we go, increasing moisture means maybe a few showers. And then as we get into Monday evening into Tuesday morning, that'll be Christmas Eve, by the way, you could see cold front moving in, maybe the opportunity for showers and thunderstorms the eastern half of the state. Christmas Eve morning, Christmas Eve afternoon, into Christmas Eve evening. That's next Tuesday. Uh, the European weather model also showing this possibility. Not as ambitious with the rain coverage, but it is possible at least the eastern third to the eastern half of Texas could have the next chance for showers and storms next Tuesday, Christmas Eve. But both model data sets right now do have that precipitation exiting Texas to the east by Christmas morning. That's next Wednesday, Christmas Day, looking quiet weather-wise. And then we may have another upper-level storm system to deal with next Thursday and Friday, the 26th and 27th of December. We'll see. The overall pattern does look active. So again, rain chances today not impressive, but a yeah, quick round of rain as the cold front moves south, eastern half of the state. Maybe some light rain, drizzle, foggy garbage Sunday into Monday, Monday night to Tuesday. Maybe some increasing chance for showers and storms eastern third to the eastern half of Texas as a cold front moves southeast with cooler temperatures, but not really an Arctic blast in any way, shape, or form. Uh, we're getting to skirting, you know, glancing blow 
of an Arctic blast here over the next few days, while the eastern, you know, third of the United States gets clobbered with, well, pretty nasty Arctic blast. It's going to be cold. So let's take a look at forecast terrain totals. Well, I would, but guess what? We don't have that because, well, quick round of rain today. And then the next chance of rain next Tuesday, well, that's just outside the five-day time frame we typically talk about. See? Nice save there, isn't it? All right, here's today's high temperature forecast. Again, this is 6 a.m. onward this morning. So these are temperatures from 6 a.m. today through 6 a.m. Thursday, the highest they get. You can see cold front northwestern half of the state already by 6 a.m. this morning with temperatures today staying in the 40s and 50s north winds southeastern half of the state 60s 70s 80s this afternoon well this morning into this afternoon but again temperatures will fall as the cold front arrives so high temperatures especially along north of i-10 may be during the late morning hours as we go into thursday quick recovery across the western half of the state highs back up into mostly the 60s low 70s possible coolest temperatures northeast texas the arklet texas eastern north texas eastern texoma east texas where we're going to have some cold air seeping in from the higher terrain of arkansas highs back in the upper 50s but overall pretty nice day so we get into friday you can see that true colder air definitely trying to filter in but it's not going to be able to for most of us. Um, coolest in northeast Texas along the Red River. You can see highs only in the 30s. Eastern Oklahoma, parts of Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas. Rest of us, we're all the way back up in the 60s, 70s. Really quite nice for late December. So we get into Saturday. You can see same story with highs western two-thirds of Texas, mid to upper 60s into the low to mid 70s with upper 40s to 50s northeastern quarter of the state and then sunday same story with a warming trend into monday maybe a little cooler on christmas eve but the way it looks right now temperatures on christmas day a week from today we're expecting highs mostly in the 50s 60s 70s across the state if you didn't see our social media post yesterday with the three different colors showing uh, white green and red guess what we're not gonna have a white christmas no snow for us for christmas day it'll be warm it probably won't be as hot as we've seen in some years like you know 2015 there was another day it might have been 2018 or 2019 where he had a pretty warm well no it wouldn't have been 2019 so yeah probably 2018 or 2017 we had temperatures up in the 70s across most of the texas it may not be that warm this year but it will likely be on the warm, pleasant side uh, with increasing moisture ahead of what could be a storm system, 26th, 27th. We'll talk more about that as we get closer. Here's the Climate Prediction Center long-range temperature outlook for Christmas Day through New Year's Eve, indicating above-average temperatures likely across the entire continental United States. Uh, we have got the cold air blast eastern third of the United States gearing up late this week, this weekend, early next week, followed by temperatures recovering and with those above average temperatures it looks like most of us are also going to be in a somewhat active stormy pattern so we'll have to keep an eye on that and again we talked about that we will have the opportunity for a couple of precipitation events as we get into next week and that prayer will continue towards new year's eve because well that seems to be what we do. That is it for your Wednesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. As always, you can get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar, and more no matter where you are in the United States with our free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers where you download apps for your device. And as always, Magical Microphone and I really do appreciate everybody tuning in here to the Texas Weather Center YouTube channel. We appreciate you joining us. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy our forecast. It makes the algorithm super duper happy. And hey, you know what? Hit that follow button. What is it? Follow or subscribe? I don't know. Clearly, I'm so social media oriented, right? Either way, if you want to get updates on our newest videos, click the little subscribe button that lets you get notified when we publish videos. And that's my spiel for the day. Clearly, yeah, Wednesday. Seven days till Christmas and all through the state. Little children await. Coal. Nope, not really. Where's my Grinch hat when I need it? All right, that's it. Y'all have a great day. We'll have a new video out bright and early tomorrow, Thursday. Have a great... Yeah, Wednesday. And God bless. Mm -hmm.